Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Yo's Games and today we are back with another F1 2021 career mode and today we are doing the Mexican Grand Prix. We are nearing towards the end of the season and we have gotten our aerodynamics to a spec 3 and we are upgrading our power power train to a um, spec 2. But yeah, we're nearing towards the end. Let's take a look at the um, standings. So you have me with, um, I believe, 202 points that's a 38 gap difference between me and Valtteri Bottas and then we're second currently with um, 206 points, you know McLaren are getting close, you know it's a close fight for top three you have Red Bull, McLaren, you have us and then you have Mercedes who are most likely going to win it but let's hope we can win the driver, stand st driver standings and, and yeah I'll see you guys in the in the race well quali okay we are here at Q1. Come on, let's do this. I need Daniel Ricciardo to, um, you know, to do well here. If you want to have a shot at um, winning the team constructor standings, and I have to get a good quality here. Me and Bottas having a decent rivalry right now. We are still in the lead though with 38 points. Right, can we get pole position? No, we can't. Lando Norris in P1. And then Ricardo P4. Okay, so that was a great run by General Ricardo. Let's hope he can. Well, let's hope we can both get into Q3 and um, do well. I'm in um, P12. You know, I usually just go once and then you know stop, so I can. Um, my tires are still good, so I know I'm gonna be able to get to Q2. So yeah, um, Guanyu Joe, 19th, Dan Tictum. Yeah, let, let's let's continue. See you in Q2. All right, Q2. Come on, we have to do this. We have to get into P10 at least. Then Q3, if we do make it, is where it all counts. All right, we are second. Okay, so we have got on P4. Unfortunately, Daniel Ricciardo got P11, losing to Fernando Alonso. I mean, Alpine are starting to have a better car, so I can understand why he lost. And and his focus is kind of low as well. It's like, you know, yellow. It's like 72 or like 71. So yeah, but yeah, we're in P4. Let's hope. Let's hope. We are, you know, next to Valtteri Bottas, or we get a pole position and Valtteri Bottas just messes up.
Alright, we're getting close to the end. Oh, what a lap time that was. Pole position, let's hope um, Hamilton and Landon Norris don't get to that. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Unfortunately, we have got on fifth. What I thought was a good lap time, I mean was, but it just wasn't enough. Valtteri Bottas, the man I didn't want to get pole position, gets pole position. I mean, what, there's only a three-gap difference between me and Tim. You have Gasly, Max Verstappen, and Lewis Hamilton, and then it's him. I mean, we'll see what's going to happen, you know. Let's hope we can get first. Welcome along to the most popular city in North America, and home now to the Mexico City Grand Prix. It's a sellout crowd, as usual, here at one of the shortest circuits on the Formula One calendar. So who, I wonder, will the crowd cheer on today to the top step of the podium? We're a long way above sea level here in Mexico today, which could pose some cooling issues for the cars as they make their way around this 2.6 mile lap. 17 corners with top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour. And watch out for potential overtaking into turns one and four. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Gasly, the rookie, and Leclerc, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Ricardo and Sebastian Vettel. Russell, Norris, they've taken a grid penalty. Antonio Giovinazzi and Sainz. Stroll, Sonoda, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Nicholas Latifi and Guan Yu Zhou. Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, Ocon and Daniel Tictum. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then let's see who can prevail today. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, we are here at Mexico, you know, the Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the strategy. Ooh, hard tires. Do we really think we're going to be able to make it? I'll try this one and then I'll see what everyone else is going on. Let's take a look what everyone else is on. Most likely softs. Then Ricardo's on soft. You have Sebastian Vettel on hard. And you have um, George Russell on mediums. And you have Antonio Giovinazzi on mediums as well. And then um, Carlos Sainz on softs. Lance, Stroll, Yuki Tsunoda, Latifi, Granny Joe all on mediums. And so is Dan Tictum. But yeah, then Ricardo's in P9 due to, I think, Landon Norris and a few people getting good penalties. But we're still in P5. Let's hope we can do something. Alright, let's go. Alright, it was a decent start. As you know, it was terrible. Leclerc's already overtaken us. I'm going to take... I'm gonna go on the outside. Gas, he's already getting away. I'm here with Lewis Hamilton. It was a tight squeeze between me and Perez. 
All right, we got Hamilton. Okay, we are right behind Valtteri Bottas now. We are about to get DRS. We are right on his tail. Can we get an overtake on him? Using ERS and DRS, can we get a move? We sent one down on the inside. Oh, lovely. That was just sublime. We're in P2 now. Can we overtake Pierre Gatti to get P1? We need these points. We need to bring it home. Daniel Ricciardo in P8. Lovely. He's overtaking Fernando Alonso. So it shows that he's getting used to the car. Let's hope you know he could be up there soon enough. All right, come on. Nice. Go on the um, the medium tires. Daniel's in the pits. Exit, exit now. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. Oh, Gasly though, right on my ass. Whoa. I did not see them there. I thought I was chilling. I was mistaken. I was so worried about what Bottas was going on. She's on the softs. A very close race. Ghastly though. He sends one down. I don't know why you would position your car like that. I believe he's still going to have DRS as well. It's frustrating. Let's overtake Gasly easily. Easily. Let's get away from Gasly. I was going to put Gasly on the spot now. And now, hopefully, these lots should start fighting. Which lets me get away. Hamilton again. Just like him and Gasly both position their car weirdly. And now, Lewis Hamilton is in P1 due to being on soft tyres. All right, we should now take the lead on Hamilton. It's a very close race. And we have um, DRS as well now. But Carlos Sainz, that you saw on the top, is um, out of the Grand Prix. Yep, Lewis Hamilton goes in the pit lane, I believe. Verstappen is as well. So is Leclerc. It's going to be me and Bottas out here. I'm going to carry on. Alright, we are on. Well, we are going to go on the softs, but we're in the pit lane. Um, Lewis Hamilton is coming along. We need to get on these softs quickly. Shit, he's coming, he's getting closer and closer. He might even overtake us. And he has. Oh no. I need to catch up to Lewis Hamilton. We are on the soft, so we should be able to. Hamilton now. 
We are right close to him. Let's hope he can gain like a one second distance. Right, there we go. I believe we are going to get DRS again. I hope so. Yep, we are. And the fireworks are up. As we get close to the checkered flags. Let's go! Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Well done. Lovely. As the one upcoming drive of the day. We get P1. Bottas gets P3. Lovely race. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. The rookie increases their championship lead. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. Okay, so that is the end of the Mexican Grand Prix getting P1 Which means we are creating a bigger distance between me and Bottas meaning that we might win the constructor standings Again, uh, Daniel Ricciardo again eighth. He started ninth. So pretty good earning us um, four points So that's pretty good. We also get one point for the fastest lap So yeah, we've got two seconds ahead Well one second ahead from the fastest lap But yeah, let's take a look at these standings um so now there's a 49 gap difference between me and Valtteri Bottas we on 228 points. He's on 179. And in the constructor standings, Mercedes are taking it away. Um, you know, they're on 308. There's a 72 gap difference. And then Red Bull are getting closer to us. They have like um, a 20 point difference between us and them. So yeah, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all. Um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.